Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today I want to do some product update videos and also some video ideas that I have in mind that I need some answers to. So let's get started. Now before we begin, I do want to mention I have a 10% coupon for you guys for cell phone accessories on an Amazon store. So links down in the description below. So if you guys need a magnetic ring holder or also a vent clip for your car, um, yeah, down in the descriptions below. One of the first things I do want to talk about is the PicoGo. Now they are having some changes coming in your way. So if you are in the Indigo campaign and you purchased a pro version, you will get a free upgrade to the N4200 CPU as well as a new updated Wi-Fi adapter, which will support 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, which is a free upgrade if you already gotten and purchased the pro version. Now for the standard version, it will still be the same 8350, but the pro version will have the upgrade to talk about that a little bit the 4200 is a massive upgrade to this 8350 cpu it's almost a hundred percent increase in speed uh, that's just from benchmarks that i read online how is it going to take a toll on the battery or how bad is it going to be on the heat i don't know yet but i am interested to see that coming on this type of setup because that uh, obviously is a newer cpu and it's a much better cpu now furthermore i've been playing around with this guy and i've installed linux on this and i've got it about 90% working. Everything you could say is working other than this little touchpad mouse thing that I have down here. But once I figure out the mouse and everything else, and I'll be releasing a tutorial on how to install Linux. Now I did reinstall Windows back on this guy and man, that was not easy. Uh, when I installed Windows 10, none of the drivers worked, nothing worked. I mean, the touchscreen wasn't working, sound card wasn't working, uh, a lot of serial inputs, battery wasn't working, a lot of stuff was not working. So I did reach out to a company and they sent me this driver packet. So I do have all the drivers for this guy if you need to reinstall Windows from scratch or clean install or something like that. And I will have that in a link down in the description below. Furthermore, I did test some stuff with this guy and uh, one of the questions was, can it run Crisis? And the answer is yes. I was actually impressed that the 8350 could actually run Crisis and it runs it pretty well. So yeah, it answers that question. Next up, we have the print cube. This print cube actually, a lot of you guys are asking, uh, is it any useful? It's a lot of money, etc., etc. I gotta be honest with you, I carry a backpack to work and everywhere else, and I have my utilities like my laptop and stuff, chargers and stuff like that in there. And this has now been a part of that tool set, basically. Uh, this has saved me once already from just having a handheld printer. Uh, I was at a restaurant one time where I actually had a $10 off coupon, but it required you to print it out. So I asked the restaurant if I could borrow a piece of paper, printed out the coupon and saved myself $10. So yeah, I mean, um, as far as printing on multiple surfaces and printing on other stuff, uh, you do need different types of ink. So it's not just this ink works for all. If you need to print on fabric and uh, type of, different types of material, you could swap out the cartridge for that particular type of ink. They do come with like these black things that I was saying. This is for multi-line printing. I finally figured out how to use this and I'll probably make a quick video on demonstrating that. Right now this is all mangled up so I'm going to have to print out a new one or make a new one. Now moving on, uh, I do have a list of videos that are coming out and this is what I do want to talk about. So I have a benchmark video coming out for all x86 boards and I asked you guys what tests I should be doing etc etc. So I wanted to do a full-on benchmark um video for all my x8 uh, for all my x86 boards and also for all my arm boards like raspberry pi and everything and i wanted to do a test that is um i can't think of that word right now but it, it works for all ah the word's consistent i want I, I want basically all the software to be consistent throughout like it's going to be the same software to run the graphic gpu uh, hard drive speed network speed everything so i want to uh, have the same software to run throughout and all the same for all the platforms and i am researching and i did find a couple of ones that i am going to be using so a uh, benchmark video will be coming out for all x86 boards and i and a benchmark video for all my arm boards this way i will have like this huge board of all the benchmarks and we have something to compare every new board going forward to so if you guys have any suggestions as far as what particular test you want to see hit up in the comments below now uh, as far as the raspberry pi 4 i really have this amazing project that i'm putting together actually two projects i'm putting together that is pretty cool one uh, it's called the box 86 it it's this this code is so impressive it actually allows for x86 code 
uh, natively to run on the ARM devices. I mean, um, basically, if you got a Linux binary, you could use this software to run it. And we've been testing a lot of games on it. Mainly it's for games right now, but hopefully in the future, we could incorporate like Steam or uh, TeamSpeak or some Linux software. But for now, uh, we were able to get a lot of games working and I am so impressed with this project. It's actually made by Pitseb. Uh, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'll leave a link in the description below for him. I believe in this project so much, I ended up sending him a bunch of boards um, so he can have more boards for testing like 3399 rock chips and, and the Pi 4 and all this other stuff. I, I sent him a bunch of boards this way he could keep on testing. If you wanna see all the games that are working currently, check out Pies Lab's YouTube channel. He's been testing it thoroughly and he's got a bunch of games working. Even Unreal Tournament works on this guy and a bunch of other games. I I'm, I'm really impressed and I was able to get a bunch of games working as well. And that will be a video. Once we fine tune and clean up all the code and I actually do want to start a forum post or either a GitHub post on all the games that are working and maybe some scripts that are needed to get it to work, I want to make a little area where we could just put all that stuff together for you guys. Now, last but not least, a couple of weeks ago, I was working on a code for encoding all my videos on my library. It's not finished yet, but I did do a huge chunk of the work because mainly what I wanted to do uh, ultimately is have this code run on a Raspberry Pi and have it um, with the graphic acceleration to use FFmpeg and encode all the videos. Um, the coding or the script is almost complete. I'm just working on getting the graphic acceleration for FFmpeg working right now. Now the question to you guys is, do you guys wanna see more of a live video of me finishing coding the script and also getting the FFmpeg working? Or did you want me to just make a video tutorial? Now I really enjoyed doing the live last time, even though I was using a laptop and I didn't have my full dual screens and stuff like that. So the comments and everything wasn't as smooth, but I, the next time I make a live video, it's probably gonna be more streamlined. And I really liked interacting with you guys and answering questions and talking to you guys while I was doing something. So there's two ideas that I had. One is either uh, continue the live stream and do a couple of videos live and then at the end of all the stuff, I'll do like an overcap video of what I did or just don't do any more lives for that. Just make a video on the code and what I did and explain everything, etc., etc. So I, I want to know your thoughts about that. Anyway, uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, I do have a lot of projects coming up. I do have a lot of videos coming up. So uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, hack till it hurts.